Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about some hints in Sacrolytic Subluxation but first of all we must really consider that Subluxation is not the displaced break on the wall but a pattern of neurophysiological joints function and this dysfunction would occur between the sacrum bone, this is the sacrum bone, and the nominatum and the nominatum bone is uh, really the fusion of three bones actually and um, this uh, joint, circular joint, will have uh, eight patterns of restriction of movement that we call subluxations. And these uh, eight patterns will be divided in four pure listings and more four composite listings. So let's talk about some findings that may occur and help in the clinical assessment of our patients. The reference for all subluxation in sacroiliac joint is the PSIS. And the PSIS is a structure that belongs to the nominatum bone, and this will name all the subluxation in sacroiliac joint. And this subluxation we now call listing. And the first listing we're going to study is the PI listing, when the PSIS is fixed down and there is a difficulty for the patient in the active or passive movement to go up to AS position, like this. The PI will be like this, and th there is a restriction of movement to go under superiorly. And the second pure movement, the second pure listing or restriction, is the AS listing. When the uh, nominatum bone, instead of being rocked posture inferiorly, will be rocked under superiorly, and there is a restriction to go posture inferiorly. This is AS listing. And this, the third listing is IN listing, when the PSIS will be fixed inward and there will be a difficulty to go externally. The fourth and the last pure listing is this external listing, uh, often associated with uh, a twisted sacrum that may be difficulty to go uh, PSIS inward. Um, well, this is our all the pure listing, but we have more four composite listing that is association with the um, four pure listings that will be will bring more four listings. And the um, first uh, first of all, I'd like to say that there is a group of classification of these listings. Hello, colleagues. I'd like to explain to you how important is visualization and static palpation and how it can bring some uh, very important information that can do some correlation with some listings. For example, when I have a PI listing, we have a, a closure of the sacroiliac joint inferiorly because the nominatum bone is rocked posteriorly. And then there is an aperture, an open wedge here in the superior part of the joint. And then in this part, in this side, you will find edema in the palpation, a, a tacky area with uh, pain and edema. And then this will be a good finding to perceive that really is a PI dysfunction. When you have um, AS, anterior superior uh, dysfunction of the sacroiliac joint, you have a closer in the superior part of the sacroiliac joint and it will be an uh, open wedge here in the inferior part of the sacroiliac joint that will be fitted by edema and also pain. And when you have an IM, an IM listing, the entire joint will be closed posteriorly and open anteriorly and, down, and then the edema will be anterior and will not be perceived by the examiners. And then we can just uh, ask the patient about groin pain or anterior pain in the sacroiliac joint. That will be a very important sign or finding for correlate with IM listing. And when you have finally the last EX listing, uh, we, we, we perceive on EX a difficulty to go in war. The PSIS will go difficult to move in war. In this situation, we have uh, a closure in the anterior part of the ilium, in the sacroiliac joint. In nominatum and sacrum will be closed anteriorly, and then will be fully open wedge here in the posterior part, and edema will be found in all the posterior part of sacroiliac joint, and also with tacky area and also pain. And then this will be a very good finding. And when the EX is combined 
With AES, we have much more pain and edema. Some patients may experience in a very acute or chronic states, pain or discomfort and lack of mobility. When going from the situation of sitting to extending, this due to the sitting when they have a PI position and going to anterior superior when standing and against two when going to the standing position and going for sitting position in some state where chronic there is a lot of discomfort and lack of mobility and in acute phase a lot of sharp pain how talked to you before there is eight types of subluxation in sacroiliac joint and um, four types first types i already told to you is pure listings and the other four listings are considered composed and these composed listings are divided in two groups the first group is Mary age group why is called Mary age is called Mary age because uh, this combination of restrictions brings the same effect and the same influence in the femoral head line it's a line that pass uh, over the femoral head and um, this is called PIEX or ASIN. And all these groups of listings uh, bring the same effect in femoral headline, uh, even in correction or in subluxation, putting up or putting down. And the other uh, group is called divorce listing. Divorce listing is a combination of subluxations that have different effect in the femoral headline. And then we call this PIIM or ASEX. And this will uh, make a competition, depending on the degree of subluxation, will impact differently. And maybe in some cases, if there is the same um, degree of subluxation, the, even with a dysfunction, will, be, will make the femoral headline be aligned because may have a compensation. Or if the number is different, we we'll have um, we need to calculate and uh, the degree of correction to establish the impact in the femoral headline.